In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with thee. Blessed art thou among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. And the Word was made flesh. Do we ever stop to consider the last gospel said at the end of most Masses? On the Nativity of our Lord, when this is read as the main gospel at the third Mass, our thoughts are on the birth of our Lord Jesus Christ, as they ought to be on that day. And yet, there is much in this holy gospel that should be considered. And today we shall consider only one point. After Adam and Eve fell, God promised them a Redeemer. He gave them His Word that He would send a Redeemer. Now God always keeps His Word, and this promise was kept when the Word was made flesh and dwelt among us. God has given us an example to follow. He gave His Word to Adam and Eve to send a Redeemer, and He followed through and sent the Word, Jesus Christ. Now God went overboard. He could have merely sent Jesus, who could have saved us easily. And yet, what did Jesus do? He went all out, and He sacrificed Himself for our salvation, giving us an example of self-sacrifice to follow. Indeed, we have the example to follow. Now the question we must ask ourselves is this. Do we keep our word as well as God has kept His word? We must remember that our word is our bond. When we say we are going to do something, we make a commitment, and we should not take this lightly as many do today. We must be dependable. People must be able to count on us. If we say something, we follow through. The safety of society depends upon all of us being faithful to keeping our word. Without this, how can we trust that anything will be done right? We can't. What many people do today is we we'll lightly say, Oh, I'll do this. And we have no serious thought of actually carrying through. We might do it. We might not. We do not keep in mind that what we say is as important as many other things. What we do, etc. When we offer to do something, we should be serious about following through with it. Otherwise, don't offer. Therefore, before we offer to do something, we should consider whether or not we can even be able to do it. In other words, I shouldn't promise to do something I know I can't follow through on. Instead, I should say, quite honestly, I cannot do this. I am not able to do this. <clears throat> then, when we say we will do something, we will be ready and able to follow through, and we will be faithful to our promise. And let us go a step further, like our Lord Jesus Christ did. When we make a promise to do something under a certain set of circumstances, then circumstances change substantially, making it difficult, but not impossible to follow through. Instead of Stepping away from it, let us consider following through anyway. Of course, there will be cases when circumstances change, and obviously we can't follow through. We shouldn't follow through. Our people shouldn't expect us to follow through. That should be understood by the people on the other side. But let us be faithful, even when keeping our word is difficult. When we give our word, let us look to the crucifix. And remember how well God kept His Word to us. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Ghost. Amen.